Welcome everyone. It is Tuesday, December the 3rd. Here with me, Tamron, a spiritual guide, founder of Tamron's Place, a retreat for spiritual growth. Each week I offer a two-card draw, two draw where I connect with spirit to offer you a weekly intuitive reading. Each week, these videos are what I refer to as moon wisdom. We focus on where the placement is of the moon, and we also specialize in Mercury retrograde, which I will speak about momentarily. However, today I have a little extra information that I'm going to offer on this video. As we are now in the month of December here in 2019, I do have my holiday mug here with some delicious chai tea that I am drinking. A lot of people have been sick lately, including myself. I feel like I'm finally on the mend. However, still trying to find my energy. So enjoying a nice warm cup of chai tea, which is very soothing and very, um, like chai tea has that essence to it where it, you know, it's, it's healing on some level and I've added a dash of raw honey. So that is the magic in my teacup. And again, each week I share whose deck that I am using. This week again, it is Colette Baron Reed's deck. She is Canadian. And I will be making my two card draw from this Oracle deck, the Enchanted Map. Even though the reading is called Tea and Tarot, at 222 here with me, Tamron, these videos that are created free for you are Oracle decks. If you'd like to find readings with me that I am using the traditional tarot deck, I will be back on my daily Instagram posts on Instagram. However, I did take a leave due to that illness. So I will, I will be returning once again very soon hopefully by next monday or maybe even sooner however i like to do them weekly so they are started on the beginning of the week so i'm going to start shuffling the deck and as i shuffle the deck i want to um share with you what this reading is going to be about today because we have the full moon energy that will be with us next week on thursday so we are currently um, at the beginning of that full moon energy, meaning the thing, the energy of the moon is being more illuminated each and every day, which means it's growing stronger, which refers to what we want to let go of. And December is a very powerful month for many people, as you know, we're going to be around friends and family. And, you know, some of us still have issues that we need to heal and resolve. So it's always an opportunity for us to do that. However, as I've mentioned in the description of this week's reading, this year has been extremely challenging for pretty much everybody on the planet. However, for some people, mainly if you are a Capricorn, which I am myself, we've had many major challenges in our life this year, and that was due to having five planets that actually were in a retrograde cycle during a certain time within this year. So what that meant was a lot of massive changes for people, sudden changes, something coming right out of the blue, unexpected. Because when we have a retrograde, it's a time for us to go introspective. It's a time for us to go on a retreat and to really use our mind and to evaluate what it is that's happening in our life. So for certain people, depending on where it is in astrology, what, what is your astrological sign, you may have felt this more or less than other people. However, you may know some people that have had a very difficult year. And so this reading today is I'm going to ask advice from Spirit on how we can start to move forward from all of these challenges that many of us have been facing. There is another astrological planet that is going to affect absolutely everybody on the planet as of yesterday on Monday, December the 2nd which means things are going to start moving forward for all of us. However, it still requires us to do the spiritual work. It doesn't just come on its own. Things just aren't going to fall out of the sky. However, if we have some guidance and support on how we can actually move forward, it's going to be 
slow and steady. So when I hear words like that, it makes me think of a turtle and the turtle energy is really about being slow and steady wins the race. So today I want to encourage people to remind yourself to be hopeful, have optimism. There is going to be many major changes on the planet. We are going to see some of these things being uncovered this month. And I do base a lot of my readings and information for you on Vedic astrology. I'm currently studying to become a Vedic astrologer. However, I am not certified at this time. My intuitive consultations now actually include some of the basic knowledge based on astrology that I am using to help and support people who are going through challenges in their life. However, this is the beginning of it here in December and we are going to see some big changes coming and it will start this month and and January, we're going to see some changes and throughout the next entire year. So this is the basis of the reading today. We're going to get advice from Spirit on how we can begin to move forward with this slow and steady energy. And what is the message? What is something we all need to really grasp and take hold of beginning this week? All right, so the first card I draw is usually the challenge, represents the challenge, and the second card is the action step that Spirit is encouraging us to take. Okay, so first card coming up is rescue. So it's coming upside down. I will show you the card. Now, when it's upside down, it's not a negative card. It's just the message is a little bit different. So when it comes upside down, I'd like to show it to everybody in the right side up position, and then I will flip it and explain to you what this means. So rescue. That is the challenge. The rescue is, now my intuition is telling me to rescue ourselves. Okay. So when you look at this, it's the waterfall, it's the essence of everything coming together, literally feeling like we're in a magical paradise. We've got this balloon floating by, someone looking at something. However, when it's upside down and the card is coming like this, the challenge is remember, if you are in a situation in your life, what we tend to do as human beings is to project what we feel is wrong onto other people. However, remember that everything that we see in others is merely a reflection of ourselves. And if we use this information, then we can begin to heal ourselves. And that is where true healing comes from. It comes from within ourselves. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this, this is the month of December where you're going to start spending a lot of time with friends and family. Maybe you have some unresolved issues. And remember that the unresolved issue is within yourself. When you are able to heal this, you will be able to be around the other people and it will not bother you. you. Your power will not be taken away from you under these circumstances. All right? So this is our challenge for the month and how we're going to move forward as a society, even for the year ahead. And the action step that is coming up is, look at this, coming apart. Okay? That is the action step. So what this message is telling us is that the pain. What it is that, you know, that it is unresolved and broken, the action step is that is what peels away. It's like the movie Shrek. When we peel away the layers, when we resolve our own issues, there is light in the middle. The heart opens, the light comes through, which is our heart chakra area. So again, when we move through the lower vibrational energies and emotions of our lower emotions, which are in our lower chakras, this is our fear, our anger, all these negative um, feelings and emotions. And as we begin to heal and resolve our own issues, this is when the light comes through, the heart chakra begins to balance and open and then we live through a higher state of consciousness of divine love because we are connected to higher chakras and this aspect of our being is when we actually are able to connect to higher vibrational energies, higher spiritual energies. So this is why many people begin to study yoga, 
they start meditating more regularly because what you're actually doing is you're opening the higher elements of the body and when we are in balance is only when the heart chakra is open because this is when the energy starts to move through so even though we're working these areas of the body by doing these action steps when the energy can simply move up and down and flow without any obstructions through the heart that is when we have a more compassionate experience we bow down to those experiences of our friends and our family or anyone we have had major challenges with because on some level Many of us believe that these were soul contracts. People, our souls agreed to be with these people during this human experience. Again, these are some of the teachings that I have learned from other spiritual teachers. It is my belief system. It may not be your belief system. However, if you feel like this is something you'd like to consider and study, again, these are some of the books that I will recommend during my astrological intuitive consultations which I will be offering for the month of December however if you would like a private reading again these readings are going to be anywhere from 90 minutes up to half day retreats and full day retreats that I'm going to be offering it may be based on price point it might be based on location I'll be able to do them on zoom or live in person and it may be the level of intimacy that you are requiring. If you have felt that you've had a very difficult year and you wouldn't like to get your reading during a group event, please reach out to me. I will have flyers posted and I will be reaching out to my community as well, offering this for the month of December. It is a year in review. These consultations are going to be, let's look at what aspect, what area of your life you felt the most challenged and how are we going to rebalance that? How we, what, uh, what methods are we going to use or recommend to help you rebalance what it is that you're feeling and to move forward in 2020 with more ease and grace? The world is upon a spiritual awakening. However, that is going to come with a lot of challenges on the planet. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. It means we are moving and changing. We're reevaluating how we see ourselves as human beings. Why are we here as humans? And how are we going to work to, uh, together as a community to be a part of the greater whole um, in being together in having that heart chakra open and being more compassionate towards what is happening on the planet so it's not going to be easy however if you have a different way of looking at it i guarantee that you will have more you will have less challenges understanding this so this is what the basis is of my videos uh, for the month of december and the readings that i will be offering Again, remember to join me live here each week on Tuesdays at 222 on Facebook. The videos are uploaded onto my YouTube channel under Tamron's Place so that you are able to view them at a later time and to share them with your friends and family. So I will read here too. Uh, we have questions. Hi, read for me. Rita, hello. I am from Portugal. I wonder if you should continue in this love relationship. Will be the father of my children. Thanks you. Okay, Rita, I do not do free readings for anybody. If you would like a personal reading with me, you are more than welcome to connect with me and send me a personal message. These readings each week are to guide everybody as to the energies of the moon so that you understand what is being illuminated or what is in the subconscious. And when we are in Mer Mercury retrograde cycles, because again, when we feel like everything's falling apart, it generally means that things are just falling into place. However, it's a time for introspection. So again, I look forward to seeing all of you next week. I hope you found this reading helpful and I will be live again at 222 next week. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.